One of the most anticipated upgrades for the vCore 4 was released last month. Today, we're going to dive into our IDEX implementation, its game-changing performance, its sophisticated technology for semi-automatic calibration, and the plethora of use cases it can cover. The long-awaited beta testing round for the upcoming Retrig meal is finally about to start, and we're launching a competition with a juicy prize. Don't miss out on it! I hope you all had a great summer. I can tell you that this has probably been the busiest and most hectic summer we've ever had here at Retrig, as we're working as hard as we can to increase our production capacity to catch up with the crazy demand for vCore 4. On the front end, we have also been working hard on improving the buying experience. We noticed that while many users are interested in diving deep into the customization options for the vCore 4, some of them just want to buy a fully configured machine with the best specs and don't want to have to worry about making a mistake in their selections. To cater to these two different types of customers, we are now offering two different types of machine configurators. The first option is the pre-configured kit, available to those who want the most straightforward buying experience possible. Simply select your chosen build volume, add a Raspberry Pi if you want to run Red OS on your machine, highly recommended, and decide if you want lighting inside your print chamber. Finally, add the hybrid upgrade if you're interested in pushing the performance of the machine to the limit, and add the IDEX upgrade if you want to unlock multi-material printing or double your outputs by printing two parts at once. That's it! The upgrades can also be bought and installed separately at a later point in time if you prefer, so if you want to dip your toes gradually, you can start with the basics and upgrade as needed. Don't forget that the hybrid upgrade is a prerequisite for the IDEX upgrade. However, if you're a tinkerer with passionate opinions about your preferred setup and a pile of printer carcasses at home from which you can scavenge electronics and other parts, we want to empower you to customize a lot more if that's your preference. That's why we're offering three additional configurators for advanced users, one for each machine size. On these configurators, you have a lot more options and alternatives. When you open the configurator, you will find that we have pre-selected the options required for the most basic machine setup. This is a good starting point for you to understand which items you may prefer to add, swap or remove. For example, while the vCore 4 bed plate is the default option, if you're looking for a bargain, you can buy a vCore 3 bed instead, this is a perfectly compatible bed and it's being sold at a discount. Likewise, the Beacon Probe is the default vCore 4 option, but you may prefer to use a Super Pinda instead, simply swap the two options. Don't forget you'll need a Raspberry Pi to run Red OS, but you may choose not to buy it from us if you already have a compatible one laying around at home. The same logic applies to all the other options, simply choose if you want to buy from us or if you have an alternative source Old printer corpses seem to be a popular alternative. Finally, if you're already the proud owner of a vCore 4, but are flirting with the idea of taking it to the next level, you now have individual standalone listings for both the hybrid and the IDEX upgrades. With these changes, we hope you find the buying experience simpler and more intuitive. As always, we're happy to keep receiving feedback so we can keep improving the experience for you. We know everyone has been super excited about the IDEX release since it was announced back in April, now that it's out, it's time for a recap of everything it can do. Let's dive in. We just started shipping the long-awaited vCore 4 IDEX upgrade. You can already find all the product files published on our documentation platform, including the new 3D CAD model, all the relevant STL files, the bill of materials and the step-by-step -step build guide. Links are in the description. So, quick recap. The base vCore 4 kit allows you to build a Core XY machine, if you want to unlock extra performance with more precision at higher speeds and accelerations, you can easily add the hybrid upgrade on top to give an extra boost to your Y-axis, which is typically the performance bottleneck on a Core XY design. Once you have a hybrid machine, you can then choose to upgrade it to IDEX by adding a second tool head to the gantry, a couple of boost guards and a high-tech calibration module on the back ZR. You already know that the vCore 4 uses the beacon to perform extremely accurate and fast semi-automatic Z calibration, but if you've used older IDEX systems before, you know that the biggest pain on a traditional IDEX system is calibrating the relative position of the two nozzles, both horizontally and vertically. This was usually a manual process that involved printing a test print before every dual material print. Well, not anymore. 
The Vicor 4 IDEX calibration module consists of a camera for horizontal nozzle alignment via visually assisted X and Y offset calibration. You simply have to drag the image to align the target with the nozzle and you're done. And a high precision Omron mechanical switch for Z offset calibration, which is physically triggered by the nozzle on each tool head, providing a super accurate height measurement. All these processes are automatically performed at the beginning of your print for you, aiming for a an user experience as hands-off as possible. Something we're definitely super proud of. On top of this, RedOS adds many additional layers of quality of life features, such as one-click copy or mirror modes, where the software automatically analyzes your STL, finds its footprint, factors in the machine build area, and automatically positions each of the copies on the build plate with no overlapping so you get to double your output with no tricky setup involved. Toolhead remapping, where regardless of how your file was sliced, you can select which toolhead to assign to which filament profile. No need to swap spools or re-slice if the default toolhead mapping is incorrect. Spool joining, where the printer will automatically start using the second toolhead if the filament on the first one runs out, and Toolshift, the fastest tool swap technology available today. Not only does it significantly reduce print time on prints with frequent tool changes, it also dramatically decreases filament waste by eliminating the need for wipe towers. The process is so fast that the nozzle pressure doesn't have time to drop during the swap, ensuring a consistent flow of filament. The ooze guards plug the nozzle while it's parked, eliminating the need for a purge bucket too. Many systems on the market today offer multi-material printing while using a single toolhead. The single toolhead implies that any material used will have to pass through the same hot end and through the same nozzle diameter. So in practice, an MMU or AMS with a single toolhead allows you to print with multiple colors of the same material, but it's highly impractical and wasteful when using fundamentally different materials. For true multi-material printing, separate toolheads are needed for each material. IDEX brings you two separate toolheads to unlock a world of options. For example, you'll be able to print parts with soluble supports, parts that use a mix of flexible filaments with rigid ones, or use two different nozzle diameters in the same print. For example, a fast 0.8 nozzle for infill and 0.4 for perimeters. When compared with a single tool head with MMU, IDEX is a lot faster and wastes less filament, as it doesn't require filament swapping. It's also a lot faster than a tool changer, which is a mechanically complex solution with more cost and more points of failure, and that takes a long time to mount and unmount heads when swapping tools. Combined with strategic slicing, the Vicor 4 IDEX is able to reduce print times by up to 80% when compared with competing solutions. The Vicor 4 IDEX sold hundreds of units in the first 24 hours after release. There's a long queue to ship at the moment, but the wait is well worth it. Order links are in the description. A few months ago, we shared we were working on a compact desktop CNC mule and showed you a couple of conceptual prototypes. The concept created a lot of excitement at the time and we collected a long list of volunteers to beta test the first batch of machines. I know we haven't given you any meaningful updates since then, so it's time for a well overdue update. Next to me, I have the latest prototype of the latest version of the mule. As you can see in true Mad Max style, this one is very shiny and chrome we milled these plates on our Stronghold Pro using aluminium scrap we had laying around as the raw material, so there's no anodization whatsoever on these plates. On the production version, they will all be anodized in black for a sleek look. Compared to the previous version, this one uses a lot more metal and a lot less printed parts. We wanted to make the mill as rigid as possible, so there's absolutely no plastic on structural or kinematic components. We've also added this optional fixture plate to make it really easy to mount and fix your working materials, and worked on the overall look and aesthetics of the machine. Our initial idea was to offer two versions of the product, a smaller and simpler mini mill for users with lighter needs and on a budget, and a bigger mill, designed for intensive use and with more advanced features. In the meantime, the feedback we received made us opt for releasing only the bigger mill, but with two different possible electronic specs, geared to the same use cases. So there's a basic pack with a simple router tool, and an advanced pack which uses a full-size 80mm water-cooled spindle with VFD. And the main reason we took this long to have a prototype ready for beta testing was due to this little electronics box 
It was really important for us to be able to fit all the machine electronics inside a compact enclosure with active cooling, but we really struggled to source an off-the-shelf mainboard that could simultaneously fit inside this tight space and have stepper drivers powerful enough for the needs of a mule designed to work with aluminium. So, in good old rat rig style, we decided we had to design our own board for CNC machines. When there's no solution, we build our own. We partnered up with BTT to design a board that is both super compact and super high power. The new board runs 2160 drivers and has entered its first production run as we speak. Now it's time to put it to the test. Let's do it! The mule is still a baby, so the tests were performed on her mama's lap, and the Big Mama Stronghold Pro has every reason to feel proud. The mule did a great job. We're exploring both Fluid NC and Gerbil HAL as firmware options for the board to try to deliver the most intuitive user experience we can. We'll also be publishing specific profiles for the machine, so you don't have to mess too much with settings if you don't want to. We are pretty happy with this electronics box and intend to offer it as a standalone product as well that can be used on any compatible CNC machine. By the way, the default mule mounts the box on the machine's body, but this is ultimately up to you. You can use an umbilical cord if you prefer to have your electronics away from the machine. For example, if you want to put the machine inside an enclosure, but want to have the electronics easily accessible outside of it. We already pre-sold the first beta batch of the meal to our beta testing applicants, with a special price as a gesture for their input and feedback. This batch will start shipping by late November, and by then we will have a public beta round on the Rhetoric Discord community, where early users will be sharing their impressions and providing feedback. So, if you're curious about the meal and want to stay tuned, join the community and hang out on the meal's channel, which should be buzzing with activity in just a couple of months. On our last episode, we announced we'd give away 10 IDEX upgrade kits to Vcore 4 owners in celebration of Rhetoric's 10th anniversary. Well, IDEX is here, so it's time to find out who the winners were. We've compiled a list of every customer with a paid order, including all customers who haven't received their machines yet, and also including all customers who already bought the IDEX upgrade. If you're a winner, you'll get a refund. Fair for everyone! So now we're going to randomly draw 10 lucky customers from that huge list and find out who the winners are. Are you ready? Congratulations to the winners, we'll be in touch soon. We'd love to see you in the Rattery community soon, showing off what you can do with your Rydex machine. Have you heard of Remy the Rat? If you don't know the story behind it, here it is. Last year we were at Forum Next in Frankfurt and received a visit from our virtual Zovita tester Jerome, better known as Pinking on Discord. He brought us a model of his Rat Rig themed Remy from Ratatouille as a showcase of what can be done on a Vicor IDEX system. The improvised mascot was a complete hit at the show and it became part of Rat Rig mythology and lore after we shared the post which captured the highlights of Remy's journey back home from Frankfurt to our HQ back here in Portugal. Since then, Remy has been an easter egg of sorts. It appears in many of our videos and content, even if just in the background as an inside joke. Late last year, we launched our own brand of filament called Punkfill, and it became immediately obvious that we should have some sort of benchmark STL that we print every time we release a new color or material to showcase how the filament looks in the final print. This gave us the idea of coming up with a Punkfill mascot, and our first attempt to tackle that goal was to adapt Pink is Remy and give him a punk hairstyle. We think punk Remy looks pretty cool, but since Remy is not Red Rig's intellectual property, we also feel that we need to go back to the drawing board and design a new mascot from the ground up, one that encapsulates the values of both Red Rig and punk feel, values of playfulness, cheekiness, irreverence, and an appetite to challenge rules and unfollow the herd. If you think you have a great idea for a punk feel mascot and have the card skills to draw a sliceable STL file, we're very happy to consider your submissions. We're not saying that we will definitely select one of the submissions we receive, but if we love yours and end up selecting it, we will reward you with a free machine kit for a Vcore 4 in size 300. 
Not bad, huh? You can find the submission form and the rules for the competition linked below. Deadline for submissions is November 1st, so don't get distracted on this one. And that is all for today. I'd like to take the chance to let you know that Formnext 2024 is fast approaching and we're working hard behind the scenes to prepare the first ever rhetoric booth. We've had machines in partner booths before, but this is the first time we'll be building our own, which is pretty exciting. Formnext happens every year in Frankfurt in Germany, and it's the largest trade show in Europe exclusively dedicated to additive manufacturing. This is the event where most companies in this space showcase their latest and greatest, and this year will be no exception. The show will run from November 19th to the 22nd, and we have a bunch of invites to give away. If you want one, write a comment below telling us why you'd like to go to Formnext this year, and the best comments will get a free daily pass. At our booth, you'll be able to see the Vicor 4 in action, and we will raffle one of the units on display before the end of the show, so that's a great reason to show up to begin with. We will also be unveiling a new, exciting development that no one knows about. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Just make sure to subscribe to stay tuned, you won't regret it. Until next time, my name is Sonat, and this has been Retreat TV.